And now the government is urging local manufacturers to show up production capacity leveraging on value addition ahead of the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement due in one month. Trade and Industry Cabinet Secretary Betty Miners says the agreement creates an opportunity to deepen trade as well as grow local industries. So far, agro-processing has been identified as a low-hanging fruit to boost industrialization in Kenya. To date, 31 countries have both signed and approved the ratification of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. As such, come January 1st, 2021, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Rwanda, Kenya and Uganda will begin a reduction in their tariffs, a linear reduction on 90% of tariff lines that will result in the elimination of tariffs on intra-regional imports over a period of five years to ten for those classified by the United Nations as least developed countries. Manufacturers and all Kenyan, you know, entrepreneurs really need to know that these markets are open for them. So it is now for us and for them to um, ramp up production with certainty. In efforts geared at sparring industrial growth, Trade and Industry Cabinet Secretary Betty Miner is urging local manufacturers to increase production and diversify their products to suit the larger markets. I mean, I think the challenge that we might face is, of course, not every, not everybody who has signed uh, the yeah, CFTA is a neighbor, so there will also be logistical. Uh, challenges, but that is also an opportunity for other logistics and service providers to step up and begin to consider. So, for a message, for instance, to Kenya Airways, is to expand its cargo fr you know, freight um, uh, capacity, for instance, and especially with a focus uh, on the continent. In light of the consequences of a possible facing out of the African Growth and Opportunity Act in 2025, Kenya has already entered into negotiations with the aim of establishing a free trade agreement with the United States. As you're aware, we are currently negotiating a free trade agreement with the United States uh, and those negotiations have just gone through uh, two rounds. We've also finalized uh, the technical negotiations for a continued trade with uh, the United Kingdom post-Brexit uh, through a UK economic partnership agreement that will also take effect from the 1st of January 2021. The United Kingdom is also approaching a number of countries, Kenya included, for a post-Brexit trade deal. As it is, though Kenya has negotiated this alone, uh, given its, uh, le uh, the fact that it is not a least developed country, we have negotiated it in a manner that provides an opportunity for accession by other East African partner states who wish uh, to join it. Going forward, it is envisaged that industrialization will play a critical role in the realization of a 15% contribution of the manufacturing sector to Kenya's GDP from the current 8.4% target by 2022. Regina Manyara reporting for Channel One Business.